Good morning and welcome back to Golden Gates Native Baptist Church. I'm Morel Neri, happy to be your host once again. Last week, Reverend Miller covered faith. This week, Reverend Dr. Moss will be bringing the word. We're about to join our praise team for a wonderful time in song. But before we join them, please believe with me and intercede with me for a Holy Spirit filled service. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for yet another day in the land of the living. Thank you just not for your spirit here, but for everybody that's watching at home. Transform us and change us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh. Lord, I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. 
I will praise you. Now I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Say, I lift my hands. I lift my hands. To give you glory. To give you glory. I lift my voice. I lift my voice. To sing your praise. To sing your praise. Say, I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. Say, I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord.
you to take one minute. I want you to worship him. I want you to tell him how great he is. Oh, magnify the Lord with me right now in this place. Wherever you are, if you are in the food store, shout hallelujah. If you are in your house, shout hallelujah. If you are in the street, shout hallelujah. Wherever you are on the plane, shout hallelujah. Thank you, God, for covering us. Thank you, God, for your safety. Thank you, God, for everything that you're doing right now in this place. Thank you, God, for your miraculous works right now, oh God. We don't know what we're going through right now, but COVID-19 is just something that's going to pass through because you, God, will have the victory in the end. We know, God, that once we call on your name, victory is won. Once we call on your name, people will be healed. Once we call on your name, people will be delivered. So right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we call on Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We call on Jehovah Nisi. We call on Yahweh right now. You are our way maker. You are our deliverer. So thank you, God, for all that you're doing in this place. You are a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus. Very pleasant. Good morning, Golden Gates. Truly, our God is a great God. Our scripture lesson this morning is taken from Romans chapter 6. And we're beginning at verse 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecian against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen a man full of fruit and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timian, and Parmenius, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. When they set before the apostles, Sorry, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased. And the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem 
greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endure it forever. And that quote is taken from Psalm 126, verse 1. This morning, I honor the presence of the Holy Spirit in the house. He is our unseen guest. And he is my guide. I thank God for our pastor, Reverend T. Hinsey, and his wife, Reverend M. Hinsey, Greetings also go out to our Pastor Emeritus, Reverend Dr. A. Hinsey, his wife, Reverend J. Hinsey, and all our ministers and leaders that are on this link this morning. Pastor, I praise God for the opportunity that you have afforded me to bring the message on this first Sunday in the Christian education year, 2020, 2021. A convocation service that was held Friday marked the beginning of our year in Christian education. The, the theme that the Department of Christian Education of the St. John's uh, particular church of Native Baptists this year is launching discipleship and building and rebuilding Christian education ministries. And this is, this is deduced from our, our scripture text, our scripture, background scripture this morning, Acts chapter 6, 1 to 7. Our text this morning is taken from verse 4 and 7. But before we begin our discourse, let's look to the Lord. Father, it is in the name of Jesus, the Christ, we salute you this morning. We praise and we glorify you. Because you are our God. You are our heavenly father. We worship you this morning. We give you thanks, Lord, because you have been good to us. Many weeks, we had not darkened the, the sanctuary. But God, you brought us, those of us who are leading in the service, you have given us this chance and we praise you and we glorify you. We recognize, God, that you're working on our behalf. And this COVID-19, God, you have it in control. And so, Father, we ask that you would bless your word this morning. You've declared that your word will not return to you void. It will accomplish what you have assigned it to do. And so I praise you 
and I glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text, our focal, focal test, text this morning is verses 4 and 7. And I would read it in your hearing. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And in verse 7, and the word of God increased and the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly and a great company of the priests who are obedient to the faith. Our topic this morning is a call to purpose. Oxford Dictionary defines purpose as what you intend to do. This, of course, is a lower level meaning for us this morning. If we are to look a little more in-depthly at the deeper connotation, we can deduce that purpose is what God intends for you and I to do in his kingdom while here on earth. A call to purpose is then a call to Christian maturity. I'd like to say that again. A call to purpose is a call to Christian maturity in Christ Jesus. It is also a call to reproduce his life in the lives of others. Through the discipline of the discipleship ministry. There are three points I will discuss with you this morning. Point number one, purpose. What is God's purpose for each believer? Point number two, resources. What are the resources God has provided for each believer in order to respond to his high call. Point number three, the joining. In response to the call for purpose. And so we quickly move to our first point. What is God's purpose for each believer? Whatever your vocation or ministry in life may be, our primary goal should be of prayer 
and ministry of the word. Colossians puts it this way. Warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect. That is mature in Christ Jesus. The basic life Text explain this as to rebuild the principles of God's word into our lives so that we may be equipped to understand and follow the prompting of the Holy Spirit in knowing how to respond in every situation with a Christ-like attitude. And to teach fellow believers to do the same. Point number two, what are the resources provided to accomplish this work? In verse two of our scripture text, it states, then the 12, and that's just the 12 apostles, called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is, not, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye among you seven men Honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, which we will appoint over this business. Whether we are serving tables like those seven men were called to do. Like, example, in our vocations or our ministries, that gear to meet the physical needs of people, Or the high call, the prayer ministry, and the ministering of the word, the resources God provides are the same. And we are told. that the apostles at this point recognized that they have to be on course. They have to be focusing on the prayer and the ministry. So it was then necessary for them uh, to call others to serve the table. Now, what we need to recognize is that the table serving, meeting the physical needs of persons, and 
the ultimate purpose to which we are called. They are not in hierarchy. They are all calls, ministries set up by God. The only difference from our background is priority must be given to the call. Your call, my call of purpose. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to prepare our church. We need to prepare our families. We need to prepare our country. We need to prepare this world for the return of Jesus. But the resources... We have them. And here they are. Men and women must have, and in fact, God has given us this word, and He has given us the Holy Spirit so that He has given us the resource of an honest report. We can ill afford to have a negative disposition or a negative report on our jobs because God has set us there to make disciples. And the second resource, so we have that. And thank God for most of us, that's already under the belt. Second point, second resource that is needed is to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We can ill afford, Ill afford not each day to be empowered to do what God expects of us. To seek his face. To pray. And to bring other disciples into the kingdom. Yes, this COVID has caused us to be home. Many, many hours. God is going to hold us. Accountable. This is a good time. This is the best time. Because it's not just evening or just early morning. We have access to the whole day. When we can give the example of what a Christian what to do when faced with any situation. And the third resource that is needed is wisdom. Wisdom is a resource that God will give us as we learn to meet him on a daily basis in our quiet time. He would give us the strategies of how to bring solutions to the problems we might be faced with. Listen, wisdom is a wonderful thing. But wisdom is given as we develop our relationship with our Heavenly Father. 
Now, so therefore, what we are saying is, honest report, this is pretty simple. Fill with the Holy Spirit and wisdom. It's available only for the asking. These are all characteristics of a mature believer. Once we have arrived there, we are loaded and ready to win the world for the Lord. The wisdom here suggests that these groups of believers were discipled. They were discipled. It is only when these characteristics are taught to us and we apply them, we are ready. We are ready to put the church to work to reach the world. Finally, our third point that I want to bring to you this morning is the joining, the call to purpose. Every member of the early church were involved in disciple training because we are told in our background the disciples multiplied. And first to have that multiplication of disciples, then they had to go through the training of discipleship. The discipleship ministry, and uh, you can look again in your verse 2. And I would quote, Then the twelve called, and that is the twelve apostles, they called the multitude of the disciples. My goodness, that was, a, that was a serious multiplication. That was no adding. That was multiplying. People were being multiplied unto, and they brought all of those people to the disciple, the disciples. Each of the members were now disciples. That's our goal. That's our goal. Because once we catch the vision and we, because all of us want to go to heaven, and we recognize that this is nothing that we have to do in ourselves. But we already have the resources. We only have to say yes. This is the call of God for every believer. No more sitting and watching and waiting. We have work to do. From the very beginning of time, and it's quoted in Genesis 1 and 28, God's plan was that we must multiply and produce ourselves in others, both physically and spiritually. How large is your family? How large is your spiritual family? How many people 
Are you discipling for God? Therefore, I want you to hear this. Teaching in the Sunday school and training in discipleship the whole church must become involved. This is a new day. This is a new thing. This is a new time. This work has to be done before the Lord returns. Like I said to someone this week, if President Trump gets back president of the United States, he is going to continue his plan of bringing peace to the, uh, the Jews and the Jordanians. If that should happen, we, according to Daniel, we are at the beginning of the last of the last days. Each of us is called to get focus on the purpose for which God set up for us. To make disciples, says Matthew 28 and 19, of all nations. You might go out of the Bahamas, but guess what? All nations come right here to the Bahamas. And we are to see to it that we get in the presence of God on a daily basis. We have to stop being so casual about this assignment. Because we know that the scripture tells us that there is a payday. God is going to pay us for whatever we do. So what we should do? We got to change the wrong mindsets that teaching, and we talk about teaching in Sunday school, and why we call it a Sunday school, because we are talking about effective understanding of the word so we can apply it. Yes. And all of us must be come involved. Now I want you to imagine. Use your imagination here. Imagine how the church, this church, Golden Gates, will be impacted when every church creates disciples in St. John's society. And all the homes. And all the homes. I want to say to you, signs and miracles will be the order of the day. And so, what's our personal message? In short order, Golden Gate's discipleship under the leadership of our pastor 
will begin. This time we're driving. The drive is about the church. Each member. And so you call discipleship leaders. Get ready. There is going to be a great move of God. Oh, the world is hungry for the living word. So if we lift Jesus up from the earth, he will draw all men unto him. The world needs to see Jesus. Even in our living, they need to see Jesus. And so my invitation is, come. Let's lift up Jesus. You may bow your heads. And you may respond to the invitation of lifting up Jesus in your own way. Father, we have strayed. We have not done exactly what you expected us to do. So we repent. We ask your forgiveness. And now, Father, send us your anointing. Give us the power to get busy to accomplish your work. You are calling us, and we say yes. I'll go wherever. You want me to go. I will do whatever you say I must do. So bless us, God. Bless Golden Gates. Bless us, Lord. And help us to accomplish your purpose. In your name we pray. Amen. We bless God for the word that has come forth today. And we pray that even as you have hearkened unto the word of God today, that you would respond to his word now. If you heard this message today and it has touched your heart, and you'd like to give your life to Jesus Christ you can do it right now, wherever you may be. If you're shopping in the, in the grocery store, if you're cooking in your kitchen, if you're even lying down in your bed, you can do it wherever you are today. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart to stay. If you said those words, and if you asked Jesus Christ to forgive you of all of your sins, and help you turn from the way or the path that you're going and, and put you on that straight and narrow path. Today, if you made that decision, Jesus Christ has come into your heart today. I would encourage you to find yourself into a Bible-believing church. Find yourself into a place where, where the Word of God is preached where Jesus is lifted high and where the Holy Spirit is free to minister to his people. If you're looking for such a place, Golden Gates is willing and open and available to you. You're free to come. Reach out to us. Just call us on our phone lines, 361-4838, or, or reach, us, reach out to us via our email, info at goldengatesbahamas.com. Info at Golden Gates Bahamas 
www.thepeopleshow.com. We are here waiting to hear from you. For those of you who are here today, we bless God for all of you. For those of you who watched us online, we bless God for all of you. May his blessing, may his favor be upon you, not only now, but even forevermore. And now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts, keep your minds in perfect peace until we meet again. God bless you. God keep you. Please stay tuned for our news and announcements that will come now. God bless you. Good day, GGMBC. Here's what's taking place this week. Stop the world and let me off. Because I heard someone is celebrating their special day. Celebrating birthdays this week are Sister Maxine Evans, Brother Gerard Benneby, Brother Brian Fernandez Sr., and Sister Annette Coldra. May your day be filled with lots of love and excitement. Happy birthday. When a prayer becomes your habit, miracles become your lifestyle. So join us each and every Saturday morning at 6 a.m. for prayer. God doesn't put more on us than we can bear. So let's keep in prayer our members who may not be feeling well. The doctors, nurses, armed forces, and all other essential workers who work above and beyond the call of duty. Remember that God is a way maker and he will make a way for you during this time. Join us on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. as we continue with our series entitled, The Fruit and Gifts of the Spirit. Faith Walkers, for your convenience, GGMBC has set up an online giving account. You can now deposit or transfer your tithes, offerings, and seed offerings at Commonwealth Bank. The account information is as follows. Account name, Golden Gates Native Baptist Church. Account number 7054341. Branch location, Cable Beach. Account type, checking. Please remember to indicate your name along with tithes, offerings, or seed offerings on the reference or memo line. If you need assistance, please feel free to contact one of our financial officers. Thank you for joining us, and remember to wear your mask, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, and always social distance. Have a safe week. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hope you have been empowered and refueled for this new week. If you want more from our family, join us every Saturday morning at 6 a.m., and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Has the Holy Spirit touched you? Join our family. Follow us and subscribe to all of our social media platforms at Golden Gates Native Baptist Church. Remember, be blessed and see you next week.